as is part three in a six part series. So after you have your coupon tacked up, you're gonna fit it up over here on the stand or wherever you're welding at at this competition. Now you can do any of these welds in any order, but the, the butt weld and the fillet weld have to be in the vertical position. And I personally do the butt weld first because if you do your fillet weld first, then this plate is gonna get hot and this plate over here will be cold. And so whenever you go to do that butt weld, it's gonna be hotter on one side than the other. So that's why I always do it first. So both plates are cold and it goes nice all the way up. And then I do my fillet weld. Now let's put the butt weld in. Now I'm gonna go up about an inch because you only need four inches of weld. I'm gonna long arc, get it nice and hot. When the two puddles join, I'm gonna push in and take off. So here we go, about 75 amps on a Lincoln Buzz Box, going nice and slow, keyhole in it. Each time I move up, I'm kind of cutting that keyhole, making sure that it's going through and then I'm building up on the front side. If you look under the puddle there, you can see each layer ripple forming. Now we're going to go to the back side and look at the pin here. Now it's building up on the back side and you know, when you know you're getting penetration is you can hear that noise. It's kind of like a, a gurgling noise and it's pushing through the back. So this is what the back is supposed to look like. It's all filling up on the back side. It's making that penetration. And now we'll go back to the front. And we're still going, moving along slowly, making sure each ripple is consistent. And you want to get comfortable for the butt weld because it's a little bit harder weld of the three. And so you want to make sure you're comfortable and that you can put a straight bead in there. Moving up nice and slow, making each ripple the same as the last. And there we have it, the butt weld on a Lincoln Buzz Box at 75 amps.